Good morning, everyone. Brian here with BMK Retro Gaming. This morning, I have for us a review of the ColecoVision original uh, ColecoVision homebrew game, Kevtris. Now, this one's kind of an interesting one. Um, it's rather old. Pretty uh, probably one of the oldest uh, review uh, game reviews I would have done for any of the systems covered. As a matter of fact. It was developed by homebrew developer Kel uh, Kevin Horton with music done by Scotty Prince back in 1966. You see, up to that point, um, the ColecoVision had already been discontinued, and there really hadn't been anything new released for it, uh, certainly not original library. And as far as uh, seems to be known, anything even homebrew, uh, probrew, or anything like that, for about a decade around 10 years. So they decided to start with a very simple game, Tetris, and change the name to Kevdris, and it doesn't play exactly like a game of Tetris in every respect, but very, very similar, and it's pretty good, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, anyway, um, it's uh, actually pretty interesting. It has, uh, besides the standard game, has a couple of alternate modes, like one called Zero Out, where you try to get the highest score out of a predetermined number of lines. And then there's one, uh, I forget what it's called, but you can actually slow things down and freeze pieces from coming down, at least temporarily, uh, to give yourself more time to work out what to do with them, as well as the standard. <clears throat> Anyway, um, being an older release like that, um, I don't know uh, if there are any uh, physical copies or anything available these days or not, as the um, image that I uh, found and used for the uh, announcement post would have implied originally it was done in a run of like about 100 released. I have heard some rumors and uh, such that there, Mr. Horton may have done some further ones. Who knows if somebody's done some reproductions of it since or not. But uh, anyway, it would be a bit tough to find in a physical cartridge form these days, if you could. I mean, anybody could feel free to look around on eBay or whatever like that, see if you could run across one, but you'd probably pay a pretty penny for it. But there, the uh, a digital download of the game ROM is available through a number of sources, one which I'll give uh, uh, at the end portion of this video. And so when my... Uh, help uh, actually uh, put uh, these uh, ColecoVision game ROMs on this collection for me for my Collector Vision Phoenix. Kevtris was among them, so I'm going to go ahead and not talk for too long, and at least not on this part, and uh, we're going to go ahead and fire up my Collector Vision Phoenix and take a look into the gameplay. Okay, so here we go with gameplay for Kevtris 1996 ColecoVision Homebrew game. <laughs> ColecoVision, homebrew, one over, and here we are. Okay, so it starts out with the screen inverted, so we can, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny with that, but uh, it's an intentional thing. As far as I know, it says does not necessarily represent Kevtris with that. See Reverse Engineering Society, playtesting by Rada Ida, that's another thing. Press A button. Here you can, I'm going to keep it at zero for the height and skill, because why not? There's Normal. You can also select Zero Out or Builder, which are the three game modes. We're just going to go with Normal for the first one. We'll take the other two out in a minute. We have a couple song options. You can have no song on uh, option one, pretty standard song on uh, number two, or this one on three. I tend not to go for two. Okay, so controls are pretty basic. Your fire button, either one, left or right, will change to the pieces uh, and their apparent orientation. And then you can... Uh, Go ahead and move them around, uh, left, right. 
by uh, your uh, mini joystick, mini thumbstick. Again, I don't know quite what all combinations actually work to, uh... To eliminate pieces from the, uh, overall thing, but, uh... There are a number of selections you can try. It appears as though you have to have them in the center column here instead of left or the most left or right. One of the three center area columns to get them to keep changing. See, over on the corners doesn't seem to work right. Uh, could have done that better. I've never been great at this particular type of gameplay, but I do enjoy it some because it's an easygoing, interesting gameplay. I mean, not exactly super tough. Let's see if I can't get you here. Yep. You'd think matching them up is the key to all this, but as I found out, not always. There we go, eliminate a little one, but uh, not enough, I don't guess. Another little elimination there. Sometimes you can keep a game of this going for a good bit before it uh, comes to a stop on you. Just depending. Like I said, it's much like the original Tetris in many ways, though not exact. And that's the end of that. And it claims I have no score, but I think I did score somewhat. I don't know exactly what. Uh, I actually did get a high score, even though it didn't say I did. Okay. Okay, now let's try one of the other variations. Zero out. Go the same music. I forget how you're supposed to do this one. Um, supposed to be eliminate, uh, eliminating a certain number of lines or what, but uh, we'll figure it out if possible. Let's put these pieces down kind of center line. Don't know why. Of course, just like with any other Tetris game, you can potentially, um... Just pull the pieces down faster if you want to, uh... Might take a little time from you, but... So what? Or, well, it may save you some time, but... 
may also cause you to make a mistake where you don't know uh, what you need to do with it. Ooh, there we go with one elimination. Actually, do okay with that on this one. You can play it in uh, two player. Of course, I don't have a second player, so it doesn't apply to me. Okay, let's try the last variation. Builder. Never tried this one before, but uh, we'll see what happens. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, you can freeze them in place or uh, whatever. See, it comes down if you let it, but you don't have to. Kind of a cool effect in a way, I guess. This one basically they just don't fall down straight up so it's a bit of a different take on the game and the way it's supposed to go.
There's another one down. down. Hmm, starting to like this one a bit, I guess. And let's see, 9,880, not bad. And that's pretty much all three variations, and I think you guys get pretty well the idea of the gameplay by now. Okay, so that was Capturus, a 1996 ColecoVision homebrew game by Kevin Horton with uh, music by Scotty Prince. Is it pretty good? I think so. Uh, Let's see, we get um, few, uh, three different options for music, three different gameplay options. And, uh, well, let's be honest, any game based on Tetris is a pretty simple puzzle-based game, or falling puzzle-based game. I forget if that's the way they tend to refer to the genre or not. But, uh, 
Uh, it's a pretty simple one. I mean, um, and this was really just a kind of a first for Mr. Horton. Try bringing something out as a ColecoVision homebrew game, if, as I understand it. And I think that was uh, some pretty good work. He went on to do some other things, too, and uh, has proven to be very good at this. And Captress was a very nice start. It's a pretty nice uh, homebrew game for the ColecoVision. Anyway, um, unfortunately, I don't have any recommendations and links from my preferred YouTubers, as I couldn't find any who have one on this. Guess I get first this time. Anyway, um, I will leave uh, recommendations and links for anybody uh, who may care to read up on this game further. For Atari uh, Gaming Headquarters, they have a little bit of a small article going over it, and that was probably the best one I found researching. Now, as I'd mentioned before, um, this one uh, may or... There may be a possibility you could find a physical copy somewhere, whether an original or possibly even a reproduction. I don't know. I didn't look too much. But I do know with being a 90, 1996 release, which was originally a, a limited release, it's probably not going to be easy to find a physical copy. However, you can find um, uh, digital downloads of the game ROM. Uh, I'm not sure if at this point uh, for free or not, as I didn't really look into that part, but I'm thinking probably so since this one's a bit uh, fair deal older. Again, 96, it's probably about the er uh, earliest homebrew game I've reviewed so far, to my knowledge. Anyway, you can one place that I found you can find it is a site called Rom Hustler, Rom Hustler. so I'll go ahead and leave a link to that so that you can... Uh, Look that up if you would care to as well, uh, and try out the game. Because I'd say, yeah, especially if you enjoyed Tetris uh, or any of the other uh, versions of it so, uh, so far, and are also into the ColecoVision, I'd say this one's worth uh, taking a playthrough. So if you have the ability to emulate, I'd say go to ROM Hustler or some other source if you have a good one, and go for it. Now, uh... Please keep your eyes peeled on uh, this uh, channel's feed here on YouTube, as well as my feeds on Facebook and Twitter, for uh, what uh, this uh, next Wednesday's Atari VCS 2600 prototype uh, homebrew original library review will be. I pretty well got uh, picked out, and so I'm just going to post a bit later in the morning. Uh, and uh, that'll be that. Big shout-outs to my ColecoVision World Facebook group and my uh, ColecoVision and Adam Fanatics Facebook group. Love you guys both, both over there. It's been pretty okay weather here, so I'm thinking this uh, download won't take too long to upload. So, you know, should probably have it uh, available before um, we get too late into the morning. I do apologize if some of them have been a bit later than I usually would mean to, but sometimes you just can't help that. In the meantime, if you enjoy this channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comments section below. You guys take care, have a wonderful Sunday, and hopefully I will see everyone back here again this coming Wednesday.